Hey everybody, this is uh, Cody, I guess. I don't know you call it. Um, I'm going to show you Project 64, Nintendo 64 emulator um, for the computer. It's, uh, it's an emulator, so. Yeah. Uh, I got a couple games. My favorite, Perfect Dark. See what I'm playing. It's running pretty smoothly, but I also have dual core, so not different from yours. It would usually fit better, but I have the cam running, so I'm gonna show you how to get that. And type in emuser first one. And then inside the left side you can see Nintendo sixty four. Click on that. They also have a bunch of, pretty much any console that they out or has been out, they have it. Okay, now, best one is the one I use. Project 64. Free. I'll also show you how to get the ROM. Just download this. Save it. Got two, two megabytes. I already have it, of course you saw. Alright. Um, get the ROM. You can get them lots of places. Like I get mine at ah. Emulation. Dot net. Feature dot net. Mm -hmm. person this is probably most direct say. and it's a lot easier if you make an account on this or else you have to use unsafe mirror And then they also have a bunch of other things, but I'm just going to have the N64. And then 
any Nintendo 64 game you can think of, be right here. Try like a uh, Mario. Dr. Mario, Mario Golf, all these they have. And then once you have them, um, Nice. ROMs are usually from about 5 megabytes to 20. Download it. Once you get that file, um, it's going to look like it's going to look like this. There might be a couple other things with it, but. This is the main thing that you want. Uh, that Z64 is the extension. And then you put that in the directory where you know you know, you know where it is. <laughs> so and then you um, choose ROM directory and then go to go to where you put all your ROM files and then after that push refresh ROM list and then there's all the ROMs that we have. And the system requirements aren't that high. So that's about it. Bye bye.